All right, so the Italian Open starts next week. It's a massive tournament, massive clay court event. The last chance for a lot of players to get a warm-up for the French Open, which is coming up in a couple of weeks. Uh, a lot of players are playing, but let's see who's not playing with the withdrawals. All right, so a couple of withdrawals, a couple of big names not playing on the men's side. We have Berrettini. He's pulled out. Taylor Fritz has also pulled out. Uh, Denim Medvedev's pulled out. Monfils is not playing. And also Musetti has pulled out at the last minute. So five names not playing. Some big names there that won't be playing in Rome. All right, Djokovic gets a buy in the first round. Top eight seeds get a buy in the first round. He'll await the winner of Harris versus Karatsev. We're going out in the first round. Uh, then we've got a qualifier versus Choric. Winner of that match takes on either Stan Wawrinka or Riley Opelka, the 14th seed. Stan versus Opelka. That is epic. They played an epic in uh, Wimbledon about three years ago. So that could be fun. Then we've got Schwartzman taking on Kecmenovic. Ooh, number 12, Schwartzman. Kecmenovic, that's dangerous for Schwartzman. Winner of that will play either Bublik or a qualifier. Then we've got Fakina taking on Vashka. Winner of that match takes on FAA, the number eight seed, Oje Aliasim. So this is interesting. I mean, you've got Fakina, Kecmenovic, a couple of unseeded players. FAA, who's playing, obviously, this week, uh, playing well here in Madrid. You know, Schwartzman's a good clay quarter. We'll see what happens. This next section of the draw, we've got Nadal. Gets a buy in the first round. He takes on either a qualifier or Isna in the second round. Uh, then we've got Basilashvili taking on Evans. Winner of that match takes on either Sinego or the number 13 seed Shapovalov. So Shapo and Rafa could be meeting early in the tournament in the third round. So that's very tough for Rafa. Uh, then you've got Herkatch taking on Goffan, the number 11 seed, Herkatch. Winner of that match takes on either Brooksby or uh, Cabello, uh, Cabelli in the second round. Then we've got Porter taking on Van der Zandschulp. Winner of that match takes on the number five seed, Kasper Rude in the second round. I gotta be honest, uh, Rafa's got a very nice draw. That part of the draw, I mean, her catch obviously dangerous, Chapeau dangerous, but uh, uh, Rafa can beat all those players. It's not like this week where he had nightmares. Uh, he can beat pretty much all those guys. Let's go to the bottom half of the draw now. We've got Rublev. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Krajinovic or Tiafo in the second round. We're going at it in that first round. Uh, then we've got Fanini takes on team. That is one of the best first round matches going around. Fanini team. We've got to watch that one. Winner of that match takes on either Martinez or the number 10 seed Sinner in the second round. Then we've got Carino Busta, the 15th seed, taking on Delbonis. Winner of that match takes on either Hashinov or a qualifier. Then we've got Dimitrov taking on a quali. Winner of that match takes on the number four seed, Stepanov City Pass. Now, Dimitrov City Pass already played this week, and it was pretty one sided. So, Dimi getting a tough draw. Bottom section of the draw now, the bottom quarter, we've got Alcarez. He waits uh, the number seven seed. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Garen or uh, Pacero, Pacero in the second round. Then we've got Chilich versus Arnoldi. Winner of that match takes on either Nardi or the number nine seed, Nori in the second round. So Nori Alcarez, they could play again. Uh, they had a pretty good match this week, so they could be playing again in the third round. Uh, then you got Batista Agu, the number 16 seed, taking on Diminor. That's a fun match. That could go three hours. Winner of that match takes on either Ramos Fernandez or Tommy Paul. Then we've got two qualifiers going at it. The winner of that qualifier battle will take on the number two seed, Alexander Zverev, in the second round. I feel the bottom half of the draw is the worst. I think the bottom section, like the bottom half is much harder than last, well, than in Madrid. Madrid, the bottom half was the easier half. I feel like the bottom half in this one is much tougher uh, with Alcarez and, you know, City Pass, Zverev, uh, Rublev, Sinner, uh, you know, Team. There's a lot of good players. Nori, you know, there's a lot of really tough players down the bottom half, whereas guys like Rafa and Nole, their draw's a little bit easier. I think they've got the easy one up the top. So uh, who's going to win? Who's going to win? Let me know in the chat. Uh, let me know in the description or the, the comments below. Uh, who do you think is going to win this one? I I mean, Rafa and Nole have good draws. It's, I think a GOAT's going to win. I think it's going to be Rafa or maybe Nadal. Oh, sorry, uh, Rafa or Nole. I think Nole or Nadal. So uh, let me know, though. Who do you think is going to win that one? It's going to be fun. We're going to watch a hell of a lot of it. So uh, we're going to be watching Rome next week full on.